Felicity Hoffman, Lewis Black, and the Y2K disaster of epic proportion. With Andy Richter and the Black Whitework 7. Now, here's your host. Holidays. Everyone's got that great spirit going, and they're happy to see us. <laughs> we have a, uh, mostly the spirit, I know. Uh, we have a uh, big old show for you. Are you going to be all right? <laughs> I'm trying to do a monologue here. All right, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. We, uh, we got a big old show, a few people this evening. We got a lot of fun stuff planned, and uh, I thought I'd start off the show this evening by mentioning something from the world of sports. Do we have sports fans here? Anybody? Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Who, who doesn't applaud to that when you think of it? Who's like, not me? Uh -uh. I prefer checkers. Uh, we, uh, no, this is very strange. In a Sports Illustrated interview, I don't know if you saw it, Atlanta Braves pitcher John Rocker. Have you heard about this? John Rocker. Yeah. No, see, great. People just tuning in think you're booing me. Which happens on occasion. Anyway, Atlanta Braves pitcher John Rocker made several racist comments about New Yorkers, and he said, listen to this, he said, he can walk down a block in Times Square and not hear one word of English. Yeah. And uh, actually, I was thinking about it. I have a feeling now he can't walk down a block in Times Square. Uh, because, no. Let's not condone violence. What I said was wrong. Uh... Let's talk about more pleasant things. Once again, NASA has uh, sent up a crew to repair the Hubble telescope. Big news. And uh, when, okay, it's the checkers guy. Yeah, anyway. No, they, they sent up a crew to repair the telescope. And when asked about it, President Clinton said, believe me, there is nothing worse than having a telescope that doesn't work. <laughs> Dirty, dirty man. All right, the uh, Rolling Stones are in the news. The Rolling Stones, apparently, they just announced this. They were the highest earning band of the 90s, grossing over $750 million. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Of course, that number is inflated because it includes their social security checks. <laughs> that, it's very sad. And then, last thing I'll mention, I thought this was fascinating. According to a survey in Red Book Magazine, that's right, that's what I read. <laughs> I just love it, the craft hints. Uh, well, anyway, 50%, 50% of adults expect to be making love at the stroke of midnight on Millennium Eve. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and uh, to make sure that happens, most guys aren't going to start making love until one minute before midnight. <laughs> Why are there a lot of guys applauding that? <laughs> That's me. I have a horrible problem. All right, just happy you're happy. Let's, uh, let's talk about tonight's show. We have a great show for you tonight. From the new movie, Any Given Sunday, Jamie Foxx, actor. Yeah. Must be very good in this movie. He's on the program. We also have from the very popular show Sports Night and the new movie Magnolia, Felicity Huffman is here. Felicity. And one of our favorite comedians, Louis Black, is on the show. Get behind Louis Black. Support him in all he does. And there he is, dressed like our resident undertaker, Max Weinberg, <laughs> in the Max Weinberg 7. Very nice, Max. <laughs> Thank 
you, gentlemen. Hello. Andy, what's doing? Nothing much. Yeah? Getting ready for Christmas. Can I tell people what you got me for Christmas? Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy gave me my Christmas present today. Uh-huh. And I opened it in my office. And swear to God, it was a uh, real, not like a toy one, but a real, like, powerful adult bow and arrow. That's what you gave me. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, oh, it's, you know, because I have a little house up in the country, and, you know, you said, like, I can shoot at a tree or something in my backyard. Right. But what do we do or immediately? Or neighbors. Yeah, what do yeah. we start doing immediately, two grown men? We assemble it, and we start shooting the arrows into the wall in my <laughs> office. And we're like, cool. Bang. And we start shooting it into the cork board, and it's going, you know, this isn't even, this is NBC property or General Electric property or whoever. And we just start shooting these arrows into the wall. People come in from the next office because the arrows are like punching dust out. <laughs> and we're just like two grown idiots. Like, oh, hey. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> now you. I wish the guy that runs General Electric, like, you know, Jack Welch, had stopped by just yeah. then. I've never stopped Checking in on in. Andy and Conan. Fook. <laughs> what did you say? I said, Fook. Oh. I, I misunderstood. It's the universal uh, sound effect onomatopoeia for arrow is T H O O K. Okay. Fook. Fook. Yeah. All right. Just keep it that way. All right. Just keep it clean. Sure. That's all I'm asking. But thank you. That was a nice gift. You're welcome. You'll get use, your, it, you, use it for good. Yeah. Not for evil. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do? I don't know. Start robbing people in the forest? <laughs> sure. And giving back to the poor? <laughs> yes. I think that was Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Goodbye now. I must return to my village hideaway. Yeah. <laughs>